bring your own device or BYOD become significant in social media since many people, especially teenagers, are active social networkers. The popularity of social networking depends on an extent nationality. In Thailand, Facebook is the most popular social network. Many studies found that students prefer to be in the social network rather than in LMS. For instructors who are looking for an efficiency tool for deliver online content, I would like to introduce one application namely Hood.me that can switch Facebook into study mode. Hood.me is able to connect friends to work on homework and projects. Instructors should get a great online experience adapting the role of a student for blueprint within Facebook. This will enable a deep understanding of the multiple functions of Facebook, particularly its functionality that impacts on learning. I would recommend you note the information contained in Meet the Modern Learner. To grasp in greater detail how we can be overwhelmed with information. To an extent, this presentation may be guilty, but the information presented is in by side chunks and can be accessed in the self faced learning mode and revises like hitting the refresh button on your computer. And this is the one of the interaction of online material. This slide presents the benefit of allowing your employees to bring your own device, for example, familiarity, cost, preference, better technology, flexibility, and more updates. It's also has the capacity to balance the high cost of bring your own device. This infographic is very detailed. Please explore the features and images that explain mobile security. Hacker interest, user error, and mobile maturity. There is a lot of information of learning analytics. Learning analytics have many functions, such as predict future students perform based on the past pattern of learning across diverse student bodies. Intervene when students are struggling to provide unique feedback tailored to their answers. Personalize the learning process for each and every student, playing to their strengths and encouraging improvement. Adapt teaching and learning styles via socialization, pedagogy, and technology. Learning analytics also can be used for detecting performance difficulties, frustrating language uses, lower than average time spent on size. This thing is guessing versus knowing multiple choice answers. Learning analytics cycle. Learning analytics is a cyclical process in which students generate data. This data is first analyzed, then an intervention takes place based on that analysis and after which the process repeats itself. Another study presents the learning analytics cycle in the different way. This is the flowchart of the learning analytics which can present many sections. Levels of the analytics. 
the different types of analytic determine the degree of human input that is required to make the right decisions. This does not mean that the teacher is no longer needed, but later that, they can spend their time on guidance, coaching, and supporting learning itself. So the first step is descriptives, which is try to answer what has happened. The second level is diagnostic, which try to answer why did it happen. The next one is predictive, which try to answer what will happen. And the last one is the prescriptive, which try to answer what should I do. About learning analytics, causes and challenges is another concern. And also the recommendations for the educators and administrators is to develop a culture that uses data in making instructional decisions, to involve IT departments in planning for data collection and use, completely understand the details about any learning software prior to purchase, and to start with focus area where data will help and build off that. There is limitation and causes that need to concern in data analysis. And also, you should concerned about why it is not widely used, because the privacy concern for both learners and teachers remain. So it has to be clearly stated who gets access to the data. And then another concern is how will it affect the future? So the learning analytic will turn away from the understanding learning with hypothesis and to be into the data drive modes. Learning analytics can be plugged in for the model beyond the 2.4 version. Class data is an application of learning analytics 